I've recently found myself really loving a particular suite of software that the folks at Manage uh, WP Manage Ninja have put together. Many of you may be familiar with their Ninja Tables product, but then they also have this Fluent line of products that they have been coming out with over the past couple of years, and it is really something, I think. And I recently did a video tutorial on Fluent Forms. I also have some information out there about Fluent CRM, both of which I really am loving and using literally on a daily basis. And in this video, I wanted to take just a moment to show you how to integrate those two together to make them work for your sales funnels. If you're new to the channel, my name is Steve Schramm. I help you build high converting sales funnels using WordPress. Yes, it is possible. No, you don't have to have click funnels or drop funnels or deadline funnels or any other uh, super expensive funnel software that is its own platform. You can do everything right inside of WordPress using tools like Studio Car and Cartflows, Fluent CRM and Fluent Forms and some others as well. And so I think it's very important that we can use these tools, keep our data, own our data, data in WordPress ourselves so that we don't have to give our data to other people. All right. So that is the premise. And so let me take a moment just to kind of show you how these two tools can work together uh, to do some pretty amazing things for your sales funnels. Now, as you might imagine, if we if we look at these two, um, Fluent CRM and then Fluent Forms, you might imagine that they have some pretty tight integration, and they definitely do. Okay, they um, anytime you see this product, the Fluent CRM product, um, you're going to see tight integration with Fluent Forms Pro because they can do things together because of the similar development. They were the same development team, basically, or at least related. Obviously, they work for the same company. So they can make these integrations work a lot better uh, than integrations that they have to do with third-party providers. Okay, So if you look here at the Integrations tab in Fluent Forms, there we have our Fluent CRM integration. So what you have to do first is come here again to the Integrations and navigate to Fluent CRM and enable that right there. And as a side note, this is how you enable all of your integrations inside of Fluent Forms. As you can see, you have integrations with Campaign Monitor, MailChimp, Active Campaign, Drip, all of these, um, you know, ConvertKit is in this list as well, Zapier. So, I mean, you've got uh, all of the providers that you're going to need if you use a different one and you're using Fluent Forms. But again, I think Fluent CRM is just the best choice for many, many reasons. All right. And so one of them is how nicely and tightly it integrates with Fluent Forms. So once you do that at the CRM level, then what we do is come over here to the forms. I should have said at the global integration level. Okay. And then over here at the forms, we can just choose one that we want to get an integration with. So this is blank form number three. It looks as good as any other. So we'll just start with it. And it is our first name, email address, and our GDPR form. Okay. So what we have here is, why don't we just give this a name of, let's see, why don't we call it email newsletter. Okay. So we can do that. And then what we'll do, I'll move my face here. Now what we'll do is just hit save. Okay. So we saved that. Now what we want to do is go to settings and integrations. And when we're in settings and integrations, if we scroll all the way down here to marketing and CRM integrations, we're going to see what we need. Now, the way this works is by a feed. You see the word feed there. Okay. So what happens is we set up a new integration feed, and that is how we can make integrations between different products using Fluent Forms. So if we go to new integration, we see there I have the option of a Fluent CRM integration because it's the only one that I have checked and available here on the website. So we're going to check that, and now I can name it. Okay, now I cannot overstate how how powerful this is. Okay, and I want you to remember something going into it that this is just one feed. I can add another feed with totally different information. So we'll cover that here in just a moment. So actually, let's make this more interesting, okay? Because I really want to show you how powerful this is. So so we're going to go back to the editor for just a minute. I think this is this is worthwhile, okay? And we're just going to add a secondary email address field, okay? Now, there's a specific reason on a website I implemented recently for doing this. 
And um, without going into the explanation for all of that, just let's just say that you have a, a need for this, right? You have a need for having two email addresses. And what you want to do specifically is tag both of those um, email addresses individually in Fluent CRM. So that's the goal. That's what we want to do for this example. All right. So what we're going to do, we have our two email addresses created. Let's go create our tags in Fluent CRM so they're ready for us when we need them. So we'll go to Fluent CRM and we'll go to uh, Contacts. And then we'll go to, um, let's see, where's my, where is my tag? Oh, there we go. Yep. Tags. And then we'll add a new tag. Perfect. So we'll just call this tag one. Just fine. And then we'll just call this tag two. Okay. So now we have our tags created inside of Fluent CRM. So let's go back to our form. So we're going to go to our form that we were just working on called email newsletter. And we want to go back to our settings and integrations and then marketing and CRM integrations. All right. So now we're going to add our integration feed. And we're going to call this, I don't know, maybe tag one feed. You can use your imagination here. Select a list. Um, let's see. So it wants me to create a CRM list because we have not uh, done that yet. Okay, fine and well enough. I can do that. So what it's asking us to do is go back here to lists and then create a list. And I like to go with um, one list, many tags. So if you're familiar with CRM uh, email software, um, some of them like to do lists um, and tags, and then some of them do like one global list and then lots of different tags. That's the way that I prefer uh, to do it. So I just create one general list essentially and then tag contacts uh, to get my variability. So I'm just going to refresh this page here. And um, yep, and we're just going to call this tag one feed. And then here we'll select our general list. And then we can map our fields, okay? So what we're doing here is we're saying that this field in Fluent CRM is going to map to which field in our form, okay? We have to choose these, okay? So we're saying, okay, well, the email address field, in order to get them into Fluent CRM for our email campaigns, is going to be the email field, okay? Okay. And then the first name, last name, full name, we could map those if we wanted to. And I think we do want to go ahead and map this. So we're going to map, um, let's see, we're going to map this directly to, let me move me out of the way here. Yeah, we're just going to come right here and do the first name. So let's say names, first name. Okay, there we go. All right. And so now... If we move down here, this is where it really gets powerful. So again, there are some other options here with things that we can do. The main thing you need to know for this part is that we need to integrate the form field in Fluent CRM uh, or the form field in Fluent Forms with the correct field in Fluent CRM. So make sure we map that. And then if you have any additional fields, you can put those labels and values down here. Now, where it gets super, super powerful is with tagging. If you know anything about marketing automation, tagging is king, right? When you when you tag, you are able to have quite a bit of flexibility with the kinds of automations that you can run and the kind of sales you can do, et cetera, okay? So for our tag here, we want to enable tag number one for this feed. And we can even do some dynamic stuff. We can set this tag if and only if something is equal to something else here, okay? So if, uh, for example, if, if the email... Um, if the first name, why don't we do that? So if like the first name, uh, was equal to Mary, okay, uh, then we could run this tag and it would only run in that scenario. Okay. So you can do some pretty powerful stuff with this for now though. We just want to leave it blank. So if they come in and they enter, uh, their email address here, then we are going to tag them with tag number one. And we're going to just sit, create fluent CRM feed. Okay, there it is. So tag one feed. Now, so where the power really comes in is that I can come right here and add a second feed. Okay, so we're going to call this tag two feed, really keeping it original. Okay, again, add to the general list. This time, though, we're going to map the email address to email number two. All right, and we're going to come here and we're going to tag them 
with tag number two. Now, um, this is just incredibly powerful because if their email address equals email number two here, then they're going to get this tag. So if you had somebody who wanted to sign up um, and they had two different positions in their company or they had, uh, it was a, it would be like a course website and you had a parent and a student or something like that. Um, there are so many different options that you could do here, but I just wanted to show you the power. And of course you could skip if it already exists in Fluent CRM or you can enable double opt-in and that's fine. Uh, otherwise you're just going to make sure the feed is enabled and hit create Fluent CRM feed. Okay. And so that is our integration working. So now let's do this and actually go grab our form and uh, test it out a little bit. How does that sound? So there's our email newsletter. We're going to grab our short code. And I think what we'll do is just go ahead and create a new page. And we'll just call this testing fluent forms and fluent CRM integration. All right, and yeah, we'll use the Divi Builder on this one, I think. I love to use Divi. I'm a big fan of the Divi Page Builder. It will help you build just absolutely beautiful websites. I have an affiliate link down there below if you're interested in checking that out to learn more about uh, how Divi can help you. Oops, All right, here I go hitting my social button. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, build from scratch, and we're going to add a new section, and we're just going to give it a text module and paste our short code there. All right, there we go, there is our form. So we're gonna save that and exit the builder. Okay, now what we will do is give it that and then we're gonna give it a separate email address for that, okay? So in other words, there is my name, there is my business email address, there's one of my personal email addresses, and we're gonna go ahead and consent to the uh, storage of that, all right? And then uh, I had an additional field here that I added by accident, but I didn't require it, so fortunately we should be able to submit this form okay, even though nothing is added there. So we're gonna hit submit, okay? Thanks for your message, we'll get in touch shortly, wonderful. So back over here, if we go to our Fluent CRM and our contacts. Okay, I now have my business email and my personal email. And if we come right here and we add, let's see if we can add our tag column here. Save. There we go. You see that I have tag one and tag two added, which is just extremely powerful and extremely awesome in my opinion. So that is how you integrate Fluent Forms and Fluent CRM. And both of these products are wonderful products. They are super helpful for your sales funnels. I mean, you can track so much information with these. You can send customers through so many different customer journeys. Um, it's truly an amazing tool and a powerful tool. And I think once you use it, uh, you definitely will not uh, regret it. So I'll have links below to both of these products. I would appreciate if you check them out. If you decide to purchase one or both with my affiliate link, make sure you send me an email and I will go ahead and um, uh, get you a free gift, all right? It'll probably be a course on how to use these items. At the time of this recording, I don't have it uh, created yet, but I will probably create it. And maybe by the time you see this, it'll be done. So just send that on to me after you purchase with my affiliate link and I will make sure to get you a special gift. All right. Thank you so much for um, hanging with me in this video. Again, this has been Funnel Talk. My name is Steve Schramm and I'm helping you build high converting uh, sales funnels on WordPress. So if you like this, um, then I would hope you would subscribe and hit the bell so that anytime I come up with an idea to share with you that you will be notified of it. All right. Take care and we'll see you in the next video.